So what were you doing before uh, Dairy Girls, before you got the, the big call? I was living with my ex-boyfriend in Manchester and I was lying to him and telling him that I had a sales job in town. So <laughs> basis, the basis of every relationship, a good lie. <laughs> a good lie. And what he was dropping me into town every day to this office block and then I would run around the corner and get into this car and drive outside of Manchester and sell, sell Hello Fresh door to door. Um, <laughs> How were you as a sales lady? I was absolutely awful because it was only commission based so you only got paid on your commissions and anybody that actually was interested in inviting you and their house to sign up for this was normally really old people that I just didn't believe knew how to work the internet well enough to ever get out of it <laughs> right get in the door, they would basically just feed me biscuits cup of tea I would have a chat with them and then they would try and sign up to them and I would tell them not to and then I would leave um so I basically just was scroll was strolling around the outskirts of Manchester for a year eating biscuits with old people before I got to the phone. That sounds like a like a lovely way to spend your time, but obviously not a lovely way to make yes. a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> so oh. I actually got sacked from that job then. That's understandable, yeah. Yeah, that's understandable. And I walked up, the, I was in Manchester at the time, I walked up to a Greg's and I was so scared to like, ring home and tell them I got fired from another job and I just didn't know what I was going to do and the next thing this email came through saying Dairy Gears from my agent at the time and I opened it and genuinely thought they were making a documentary about dairy and I was like all right okay this isn't really the path that I want to go down but I mean you know it's something and then I read it and it was this obviously incredible sitcom and was so thrilled and I just thought in that moment in time I really really have to have to get this and then I was on the phone I rang my mom I told her about it and then and walks these two men from Belfast and they heard me were talking to my mum on the phone they came up to me and they were like where are you from I was like Jerry they were like are you looking for a job I was like funny you mentioned it I just got fired <laughs> and then they took me down to these mobile cabins and then I was working on a boat inside them for about six months doing what? they just walked me down put me straight into the like, office manager of this building site so I was up doing snagging and stuff on the building site everywhere. I loved it it was great crack and then I went on to Dairy Cures. What, a, what an eclectic CV you have. <laughs> <laughs>